Hey, what's up YouTube? Artist Dirty Donnie Gillies here. Today's episode is a little bit different. Uh, today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to paint 70s super graphics. Super graphics. So you would see them in schools, roller rinks, arcades, almost like a lost art in a way. So here's the bar in my kitchen. As you can see, it's white. I'm gonna do a giant sunset, 70s. Always different ways to do stuff, but I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. Super graphics. Warning, the time wasted watching this video is non-refundable. Okay, 3M tape. You're gonna wanna get some of this. It's kinda hard to find. I'm gonna try to find a link, but 3M tape. This is the magical stuff that's good for doing corners, curves, bends, all that stuff. This will work the best on a really smooth wall. The wall's a little bumpy, so we might get a little bit of paint shoot through. That's just something we're gonna have to do on the touch-up, which is gonna happen. The frog tape, this is really important. This stuff is really good. This is great for painting. This is frog tape. I'm gonna try to find the link, but if not, here it is. Uh, you can get a really clean line with this. This is really important, the Valspar. So you can pick this up at any Lowe's or Home Depot. Same with the frog tape. What this is, this is like kind of a semi-gloss clear coat. So once you put your tape down, you're gonna put a little bit of this over and this is gonna prevent the paint from shooting underneath the tape. This stuff's really important, it helps a lot, but worst case scenario, we can do touch-ups. So standard set of brushes, I always buy the more expensive brushes, I find it's just better. With the paint, I always get the more expensive paint. This usually runs around $45 to $50 or more for one of these. I'm using a semi-gloss. I like semi-gloss because you can clean it, you can wipe it down. This is gonna be a dirty area. People are gonna rub their feet on it because it's a bar. So I'm gonna have to clean it and wipe it. Even a gloss is good. Got the rollers, some rope, and a pin. So there's the checklist, right on. There you have it, there's your circle. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna give about a foot of lead. That's what you're gonna be steering, and you're gonna pull the tape, and you're gonna push the tape down with your fingers. So it's, you go really slow, and this, I'm gonna make it look kinda easy, but this is gonna take a little practice. I do a lot of this, so. Okay, now I'm doing the valve spar. This stuff, this is how this works. Okay, so what I'm doing with the Valspar is I'm putting it over top of the lip where the tape meets the wall. When that dries, that's gonna become a sealant, so it's not gonna let, it shouldn't let the paint shoot underneath. Okay, so there it is. Super graphics, it's all done. There were a few little touch-ups I had to do, but all in all, it worked out great. If you have any questions, just comment below, or you can send me an email, dirtydonny at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to Donny TV.
Super Graphics. Wait, hold on. Is this Donnie TV?